Finally tonight, by this time tomorrow, the two teams through to this year's AFL Grand Final will be decided. And either way, the showdown will be historic. As well as the power clubs, Sydney and Geelong, two unlikely contenders remain in the hunt. Tomorrow night, Melbourne's perennial battlers, the Western Bulldogs, will play the league newcomers, Greater Western Sydney, for a spot in the decider. The Giants have only been in the competition for five years. The Bulldogs haven't made a grand final for more than 50. Sue Alberti is one long-suffering Bulldogs fan and the club's vice president, and she spoke to me earlier from Melbourne. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having me. So on a scale of 1 to 10, how nervous are you about tomorrow's match? About 11. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you might say that. Yes. Can the dogs do it? Yes, we can. I'm quietly confident. What's the mood like at the moment in, in the western suburbs of Melbourne? It's just amazing. Um, and, and the supporters that have been supporting us for such a long time, it's just amazing for them. And just to see them so happy and excited means a lot to me. What is it like for those supporters who've been waiting 55 years just to get in another grand final, which is incredible when you think about it? Well, it's, well, I've been waiting that long too, so I just know how they're feeling. But those people have hung in there, stayed with us, gone the journey. And if anything, I would love to see those people just enjoy the success. So do you think we are seeing a, a new rivalry born here between the western suburbs of Melbourne and Sydney? No, not at all, not at all. I mean, we've been playing football for over 100 years. I mean, GWS on certainly Sydney, and um, they haven't been around as long as us, but no, not at all, no. I would like to ask you, if you could, to reflect on the success of GWS, only five years in the competition. Are you surprised at how quickly they've reached this level? No, not at all. They've been given a lot of support along the way and they've got some excellent players, including a couple of ours that uh, left the Bulldogs and went to GWS, so not at all surprised. And let's face it, I mean, they, they did very well this year and they're entitled to their home final and, and that's good for them. You're right, they have been getting a few special deals since they entered the competition mm -hmm. in terms of drafting and recruitment. Mm -hmm. Uh, do you feel that that has made it an unfair playing field? Because I do notice there is a bit of uh, ill will directed towards GWS because of that on behalf of the other clubs. Is that something that you've noticed as well? Oh, people talk about it. It's discussed all the time. But I say good luck to them. They've been given help and support. They've come this far. They've done very well. And I say good on them, but we're prepared to go up there and, and play against them and do our best as well. It's going to be a big change from last week, that victory over the Hawks in front of 87,000 people. It probably made you a little bit emotional. A lot of people were happy to see the Dogs um, defeat Hawthorne. Tomorrow, 24,000 people in a small stadium in, in Western Sydney. What does that do to the players? They're obviously professionals, they'll handle it well, but, you know, is that quite a come down for them? Well, we're going to have a sea of red, white and blue and the players know that a lot of us have gone up the Hume Highway are going up there today and flying up there and we'll probably outnumber the GWS supporters and we're a very noisy bunch from the Western Bulldogs. They'll know we're there, they'll know our presence and we'll, I'll be cheering like crazy. It has been noted that the Bulldogs players don't look nervous. Uh, they, they seem to be taking all of this in their stride. Why is that? Um, and what do you say to them when you come across them during the week? I would say that those players are playing for their coach. He's got them coached very well. They're very confident in their own right. They're fine young men. And, uh, look, they've just been coached very, very well. Well, just on that, actually, Luke Beveridge uh, and also the coach of, of GWS, Leon Cameron, have one thing in common, and that is playing under, uh, coaching under Alistair Clarkson at yes. Hawthorne. Yes, yes. What have they taken from his style? He's now possibly the, the best coach in the modern era. Do you notice that in the way that the Bulldogs play and also GWS? Well, Lucas brought a good culture from Hawthorne, but he, he came at a time when we needed a, a change and a change in, well, not necessarily the culture, but certainly his coaching skills. Our previous coach had taken us to a certain level and done a very good job, but Luke has taken us to that next level and um, he's made such a difference at our club. And Yes, he was at Hawthorne, he's brought a great culture, but we're doing very nicely. It must be said that the dogs are no strangers to preliminary finals. They've been in quite a few, but the problem is they can't seem to win one. How devastating would it be if they do lose tomorrow night? 
Well, I know I was at the 97 preliminary, grand, uh, preliminary final. I, re I thought we were going to win. We were five goals in front. And then, of course, um, Liberth maintained that he kicked that goal. And I still think he kicked a goal too. I have never been so stunned in my life. I sat there for about an hour and I'm never short of words saying, why did this happen? I don't think that's going to happen tomorrow night. I think we're going to do very well and I know the players are going to give absolutely everything tomorrow night. And what do you predict for GWS in the future, given what you've seen this year? They're going to do very well. You know, they've got a good team, they've got good support and uh, they'll do very well. But it's going to be the dog's turn this year. My last question. If the dogs do win, as you say they will, who do you think they'll face off against next week? Very difficult one. Um, possibly Geelong. I mean, Sydney are a good team as well, but I think it may be Geelong. But I don't think I want to jump that far. I just want to get over tomorrow and, um, and just hopefully for our supporters' sake that we can win tomorrow. All right, Sue Alberti, I better not take sides, but I will say good luck tomorrow and I uh, hope you enjoy the match, whatever happens. Thanks very much. Thank you very much for having me.